Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and welcome to a new tutorial, and this is quite a quick one, we're not going to be looking much into it, but uh, we're basically going to learn how to kind of uh, section stuff, so see how I kind of sectioned, or cut, I guess, sliced the face of uh, this image here, we're going to learn how to do that with anything, basically. So uh, let me just uh, roll everything back. We're just gonna delete this, and it's really easy. So just make sure you have a background and just import an image that's already masked out. So this is a picture of this girl without a background. Just put it whatever doesn't matter because we're just gonna use it as a subject. So on a separate layer we have our model. Gonna name this layer model. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna make a backup copy of it. You're just gonna put it here and just hide it. There we go. Uh, I'm going to rasterize this. So we're gonna just destructively work on it. Once you've rasterized it, grab your pen tool by pressing P on the keyboard or clicking on this button here. And you're gonna start off by zooming in and selecting with the pen tool kind of this area. Click and drag and just select the area that you want to slice. Uh, hold Alt on the keyboard and click on this point here. So uh, if I click here, for example, see how it makes this curve? I don't want that. So I'm going to press Alt, uh, hold Alt and click on the point so I can make straight stuff again, straight uh, lines. I'm just going to go back here into the beginning. Once we have a closed path, I'm going to right click and then select make selection with feather radius zero and the rest just leave it like that. And it's going to make a selection. I'm going to grab my uh, rectangular marquee tool, some selection tool. It doesn't really matter. It can also be the lasso tool. I don't care. And then right click and then select layer via cut. Okay. So now we have a slight section of uh, this model on a new layer. See how layer one just appeared here? We're gonna call this a top. There we go. And we you, you just could just put it somewhere, just leave it there, doesn't really matter. Now you're gonna select your model again. Make sure you're on the model layer when you're slicing because uh, if you slice from the top, it's not gonna be anything there because there's nothing here other than the top. So you can also hide the top, it doesn't matter. Click on your model, select your pen tool again, and select another section. So this time I'm going to go for the eyes, I guess. The eyes or the nose, I don't know. Just select this section here. I want it like this. There we go. No, not like this. Let me let me, let me me make a better selection here. And I kind of want to go from here, from the cheek, go on top here, like so, and kind of curve around here, around the ear. But I kind of want this point to be here in the middle of the nose, a bit lower maybe. There we go. And I'm going to drag this point here. There we go. Now just uh, make sure to hold Alt, click on the point, and so you can make straight lines again and make a selection around the area that you want to slice. Right click, make selection, enter. And now select a selection tool, such as the marquee tool by pressing M right click and then layer via cut so now we got the second section of the head and we can just put it here doesn't matter now we're gonna select another section there we go I'm just gonna hide this so it doesn't distract me uh, let me see here I'm gonna press P again for the pen tool with path on make sure you have path on and I don't know I'm gonna select this area here I guess the chin it doesn't really matter right now because I'm, I'm not looking for um, cleanliness, I guess. I'm just looking to quickly show you how to do this. And you can then do it better than I did. Because <laughs> this is just a fast tutorial. So, right-click, make selection again. Enter, selection tool, and then layer via cut. Okay, now let's move this a bit up. And the last piece will be the neck. Pen tool, select the neck. I'm going to do something like this for this one. And select around and make the selection and layer via cut there we go so we got the neck down just like that now we can uh, unhide all the pieces and kind of move it around how we want to i'm gonna move the top a bit up like this maybe rotate the face a bit here 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe like this, I guess. Uh, this one here. Press Control and T on the keyboard if you want to move stuff, uh, transform it. Control and T brings up the transform tool. I'm gonna put it like this, I guess. There we go. A bit lower. And the top. I'm gonna put it like this. Just going to rotate it just a little bit. So after you got your sections, we can start uh, by grouping these. So hold control on your keyboard and select all the layers with the model. Control and G groups them or just like uh, make a group. You can click on the group here and it's going to make them after the selection. Now just make, uh, call this model, call your group model and you can lock it if you want to. Um, now make a new layer under the model, call it slice one. No, hmm, mm, section one, call it section one. Let's go for section. And you're going to select your pen tool as usual. And now you're going to have to make the area where um, the bottom side is visible. For example, in the neck here on the face, we're going to have the top side. So simply just make a selection like this. So look at look at how I'm doing it. It's just like this. Kind of make an, an oval selection like so. Right click. Make selection, okay. Grab your brush tool, yeah. Uh, and now just brush inside. It doesn't matter right now with which color, but I'm just gonna show you with green. Control D to deselect, and see how we got that section there. Now we just click on this button here after we uh, did the section. This is lock transparent pixels. That means you can only work inside of this area. So right click, select the soft brush. Hardness zero, just a regular soft brush in Photoshop. Everybody has this. It's the default brush. Uh, size just a bit bigger, and then click on the section one. Now, if you hold Alt, you're gonna get this uh, color picker tool, and if you click somewhere, it will select the color. So I'm gonna click on the shadows here. Just gonna make that uh, dark like that. But I see there's light here on the neck, so I'm gonna select from this light area. See, when clicking here, there we go, and I'm gonna slightly click there because the light is hitting the neck over there. So it's going to also affect the uh, top area of the neck here, of the section one layer. And here too, I'm going to select from here, just like this. There we go. And that's how you do it. Uh, and we're going to do the same for, for the other um, sections. So I guess just make a new layer, call it section two, section two, and do the same thing. There we go. I'm just going to select the bottom side this time instead of the top side. I mean the top side instead of the bottom side. I'm just going to go like this, I guess. There we go. Just think logically, like how would the shape be if you were to actually uh, slice something like this up. And right click, make selection, enter. And with the brush tool, just fill it in. You don't even need to, once you have your selection, you don't need to necessarily lock the transparent pixels in because you can just like color pick and do the same thing with it before just like this so I'm gonna have a lighter skin tone around here just select the colors from your model you know so you know how to add these uh, shadows and highlights there we go so something like that see how the uh, colors in between the slices affects uh, the uh, shadows that's gonna be inside and the lights so it's going to make it look more realistic. So I'm not, I'm not going to do the other slices because you, you get the point. Let me just zoom in here. Once you've done this, uh, select all the sections. So the, the things, you know, that we just did and group them. Yeah. Double click on the group and you're going to get the layer style panel. Don't click on the name because you're just going to rename it Click here on kind of on the right side. Right. Double click and go to pattern overlay and you're going to select this pattern here which is some kind of noise it should be default in photoshop some kind of noise pattern doesn't really matter and put it on multiply 100 percent it should be white with sort of, sort of like dark dots um, and this is going to mimic like the pores on the skin and make sure to play around with the scale you know so this is how it looks with the the big scale here and just make it smaller until it fits the pores that are on the girl's face. So kind of like this and then okay. 
and if you zoom in you can see that it looks more realistic right now it looks like there's actual skin over there instead of uh, something else um, a few ideas you can also like put stuff inside or make like plants uh, grow from the neck or I don't know something you can you can you can just use your imagination to do uh, anything you like anything can come out you can do this with fruit fruit is pretty nice I guess uh, animals I guess a bear or something you know like dissecting a bear that'd be super cool so just to give you uh, some quick ideas so that's it for the uh, tutorial have fun sl slicing things up I guess and uh, yeah come up with some cool stuff and if you want to you can follow me on Facebook on Instagram and uh, download all of my PSDs and uh, actions uh, styles will be coming soon on the pick pack website which you can also find in the description that's about it for this tutorial I will see you guys in the next one have a great day cheers